Okay, for a dumbbell floor press. The setup on this, especially with heavier dumbbells, is a little bit harder. So if you can get somebody to help you out with this, it does make it a lot simpler. If you're doing it solo, I like to stand the dumbbells on end between my legs here. And I'll push the dumbbells together and lean back slightly to put them up on my thighs. From here, you can roll back with your elbows fixed at 90, and that will get you where you need to be. From here, our main goals are keeping your mid-back on the ground, shoulders retracted and depressed, and then reaching up and touching the dumbbells together at the top with extended elbows. So from here, mid-back is on the ground the whole time. And then again, extending. The most common issue that I see with a dumbbell floor press is as people start to come down in the movement from the top here, their shoulders will elevate. They don't have the shoulder control to keep that. If that's the case, the cue that you need to use is thinking about actively extending your elbows. So lock your triceps out and then pull the top of your shoulder away from your ear. You'll see there's a lot more space that's created here and you're going to feel all the muscles around your shoulder blades. So in your lats and in your low traps between your shoulders, those are going to activate really strong there. From there, I'm only going down with the dumbbell as long as I can keep this nice big space between the top of my shoulder and my ear. So down and up. And go from there. So, dumbbell floor press, we've talked about the setup. The reps start from the bottom, shoulders away from the ears, mid-back on the ground. Press up and come down. That's it. Basic movement, really good shoulder stability builder. We'll build up your triceps, your delts, and your pecs as well.